GC unboxing this week is something that makes me very happy indeed. Now, I am lucky enough to be able to wear ASOS cycling kit every time I ride, thanks to them being partners of the channel. But this week, I get to unbox it as well. We've got ASOS shorts, ASOS jerseys, ASOS undervests, and ASOS socks all up for grabs. Four complete outfits can be won. Now, I will tell you how you can enter the competition a little bit later in the video, but in the meantime, let me tell you quite why this gets me so excited. And yeah, we are gonna talk about chamois because that's a big part of it. That's not taking by surprise. You knew I'd get excited about chamois. You knew I would. Let's start with the jersey, shall we? So we have here the SS Equipe Jersey Evo 8, which is a men's specific jersey. Voila. And we also have the T La La Le Evo 7 jersey, which is a women's specific jersey. Let's have a look. Check it out. Free phone wallet with your ASOS jersey. Nice. There we go. Both are designed to be towards the aero end of the cycling clothing spectrum, meaning that they're nice and tight and crucially also modern looking, but you won't look like a total dork at the cafe. Does anyone still use that word? Just dorks. Yeah, okay. So you've got the aerodynamic similarity, but the cut or the fit between the two jerseys is not the same to account for the obvious anatomical differences between men and women, but also the composition of the jerseys is also different. So essentially different choices of fabrics on different parts of the jerseys. They are intended for warm weather riding. And as you might expect from a brand with a reputation of ASOS, the fabrics themselves are tailored specifically to purpose. So on the Equipe jersey, you can see that the fabric on the front is a 3D knitted mini check material. And the idea being that the surface area of the fabric is increased and that allows it to wick more moisture and dry faster than an equivalent fabric. It's also mega light and also mega stretchy, meaning that it can be fitted nice and tight and wrinkle free. Then on the La La Lay jersey, there is a very different fabric on the front. It's called a Sens Classic Tex fabric. Different aesthetic, as you can see, but also it's not quite so tailored to warm weather riding. And apparently the fabric is absolutely ingenious. So ASOS have called it push-pull technology, meaning that when you're hot, the fabric pushes moisture away from you, therefore keeping you cooler. But if your body temperature then drops, the fabric pulls that moisture back towards you, creating an insulative layer. Nice one. Both jerseys though have the Stabilizer S7 mesh on the back. So for the highest levels of breathability without sacrificing UV protection. And it stretches laterally, as you can see, to keep the jersey nice and closely fitted, but it doesn't stretch vertically. Now what that means is that as you load up your pockets for your ride, it stops the jersey stretching and having the contents of your pockets banging around near your bum, which is a pet peeve of mine. And while we're talking pockets, they too have something to get excited about. So they have a design feature called the triple ramp design. And basically it's like an extra flap inside the pocket that fundamentally stops stuff falling out. Now I haven't often had a problem with that, but you only have to have had it once in order for it to be a bit of a thing. And having lost a phone out of a particularly poorly executed winter jersey at high speed several years ago, that feature too makes me very happy. Now apparently these are designed to be your go-to shorts. So comfortable and suitable for every occasion. Nice packaging. Question is though, what makes a comfortable short? Well, certainly the chamois is gonna be absolutely crucial given that that's where most of your body weight goes and also most of the movement happens. Now the chamois on these women's shorts is of course different to the men's shorts, but the bare bones remain the same. So they both have an eight millimeter thick foam pad on there and it's in a mesh pattern, which apparently gives greater breathability over a solid foam. And then it's attached via ASOS's patented elastic insert. So that basically gives the pad more movement, more freedom of movement, 
so that any kind of friction related problems are transferred away from your skin. Now lastly, because I'm conscious that I may well come across as a chamois obsessive, which would be accurate, even if it's not something I particularly want to convey, there is the Golden Gate. Now the clue is definitely not in the name, but it is a neat feature all the same. So as you can see, the chamois is only partially stitched in to the shorts, meaning that you get fewer seams, you get greater flexibility of the chamois, and crucially, you get less friction. Let's get on to the fabric again, shall we? This is unique in the cycling industry. ASOS created it in collaboration with their fabric supplier. So it's slightly compressive, meaning that it gives you plenty of support. It's also crucially durable and hard wearing, and yet soft at the same time. And it's also been treated with ice color, which is a kind of treatment that reflects sunlight, meaning that you actually stay cooler on sunny days. And because of the specific stretch properties of the fabric, to different rates of controlled four-way stretch, since you asked, they've actually been able to change the pattern of the shorts, meaning that now there's only one seam on the legs and it runs up at the back of the leg there. Now it's comfortable, but actually it came as a result of work done to create the most aero skin suit that they could in time for the London 2012 Olympics. The men's keep shorts have a typical bib arrangement, albeit a typically well thought out one with extra wide straps for comfort. But then the La La Lay women's ones have this, can you see that? The mono bib arrangement with a magnetic fastener on the front. That is a lot of tech and it's not even the half of it. Now it is possible to make a simple cycling jersey and simple cycling shorts, but then it's also possible to turn it into an art form. And I think probably for a lot of us, that floats our boats. And I still haven't finished yet, by the way, because we've got matching undervests. Now, a great addition to your wardrobe. There we go. Stick that underneath your cycling jersey in less warm conditions to stay more comfortable. Funnily enough, I have to wear one of these pretty much every single day in the UK. Mega comfortable, you can see different types of fabric properties for different parts of your body. Some with higher rates of breathability, others with more comfort or more compression. A valuable, valuable piece of your cycling wardrobe. And then, of course, We've still got socks. We all know the importance of socks. If you saw the GCN show this week, you will also know the important elements that make up a good sock. And these definitely look like they're gonna follow the Blythe formula. So the top of the sock sitting a half an inch shy of the bottom of your calf muscle for the pro look. Nice long cuff emblazoned with the monogram logo. I approve. So, like I said earlier, four complete sets of cycling kit up for grabs. Two of the Equipe men's outfits and two La La Lay women's outfits. In your choice of size, obs, but also your choice of colour as well. So, blue, orange, black or yellow for the La La Lay, or red, yellow or black for the men's Equipe. Tell you what, four absolutely cracking prizes there. If you want to be in with a shout at winning them, then of course you need to enter. To do so is exceedingly simple. In the video description that you'll find beneath this video, then there is a link. Click on that and you'll go straight through to the competition entry form. Simple as that. Now make sure you subscribe to GCN as well before leaving this video. That's incredibly simple. Just click on the globe right now. And then if you're after some more content, we've got a great little video actually advising you how to dress for cycling in the mountains. Quite a skill there. And then in terms of the GCN cycling kit, which I talked about earlier, uh, you can see that in pretty much every single video. But a really great one recently actually was Dan and Matt investigating slammed or not slammed. That is a question.